Thank you, Reg. Yes, we've reserved you your ringside seats for what's surely going to be a cracker of a match. It's the World Lightweight Championship and Belt. Johnny Saint against the youngster, and there he is, Kid McCoy. One fall to decide. Here we go for round two. Round two, just the one fall to decide the lightweight championship of the world. And whether you're a keen athlete or whether the nearest you get to what could be described as a contact sport is parking, this is going to be the match. Already Johnny Saint on the attack there with that bat breaker. Saint defending his title. He has done a few times against this youngster, Kid McCoy, from Keithley in Yorkshire. But after a series of elimination matches, this is the one. 42 matches up and down the country have resulted in the final, which we have here at the moment. Perhaps Kid should have gone with that whip to save himself some pain because Johnny Saint's going to be on the attack there. And referee Brian George from Liverpool in charge of this one. Two super athletes of the wrestling ring. Johnny Saints has been the world champion for many, many years. He's only lost it twice in his career. He won it way back in 1976 in Bolton. Lost it briefly to the great Jimmy Brakes and to Mike Flash Jordan. But apart from that, has been the champion ever since. As you can see, he's going to have his work cut out here with young Kid McCoy. Kid McCoy right on the 11 stone weight limit for the lightweights. And Johnny Saint just a couple of pounds under him. So that front strangle hold. Could possibly try and bridge his way out of it. And a side headlock. Now how powerful is that being put on? Can he possibly slip out from underneath there. Well, both these men are master tacticians of the lightweight. Both know nearly every trick in the book. Johnny Saint, throughout his career, has been called the master of a thousand holds, and it's easy to see why. Double finger interlock. And that ends round two. It's going to be a sporting contest. This Both wrestlers have great respect for each other. There's Johnny Saints defending his title yet again. Five foot eight and a half inches of Johnny Saints. Just under the 11 stone mark. And Kid McCoy from Keithley in Yorkshire. A 20th round. Round three then, as we say, just the one fall to decide. Kid McCoy in the Union Jack trunks. And Kid McCoy has, in fact, been the champion of Great Britain himself. He was champion in the early part of the 90s. He took the title off of Steve Gray, the Golden Star from Peckham. Plenty of technical know-how from both men. Now, will he try and lift him? Because if he does, that will be a very painful move. Up he goes, referee there. Right there, should he want to submit. You can see Saint just won't let go. Come on now. 
still working on that wrist movements. First rules of wrestling, of course, keep going for one particular part. Weaken it till they submit. Super acrobatics from both men. And both men are certainly going to know they've been in a match after this. They both know they're fighting for the lightweight championship of the world. the count of two. And of course, in a normal match, perhaps Johnny Sain could afford to take a bit of a breather and maybe almost give in to a possible pinfall, but this is just a one full match. So the count of three, and it's the end of the bout. on that same wrist you notice as well once again Johnny Saint putting all the pressure on but he's got a hurry it's almost the end of the round there goes the bell and there he is the champion from Blackpool Johnny Saints born in Manchester moved to Blackpool and made his debut in the wrestling ring in Newcastle when he was still a teenager There's Kid McCoy, who is still a teenager, only just a bit 20 right next on. week. There are rumours around wrestling that if Johnny Sang was to lose this match, he may well retire. He's been talking about retiring for a number of months. We've certainly been seeing him less and less around the country. But he has told me in a previous uh, chat with him in the dressing room that if he did lose his title, there's no one he'd rather take the crown and Kid McCoy. No, no. Wrist lever in favour of McCoy. Super head throw. That's the move McCoy is famous for. And so close, just gets to the count of two. This is the high-flying antics of two fine professional wrestlers. Now Saint going for his favourite three-in-one move. He's got an arm bar. Great line hold on there as well. And that is most uncomfortable for Kid McCoy. And now also the leg goes over the head to get complete leverage. A super three in one move from Johnny Saints. But no, can't quite hold it. It's nice to see two, two fine wrestlers obeying the rules of professional wrestling. Of course, the rules different in the UK than they are in America. More rules here in Britain, and both of them are sticking to the letter of the law. It's all the way back in the 1940s when the rules of British wrestling as we know them were formed, founded by a committee headed by Admiral Launce Mount Evans. Way back in the 40s, and <laughs> the famous Johnny St. Paul and Kid McCoy takes that arm. He knew he shouldn't have done that. Yes, 
superstar. That's why they call him the master of a thousand holds. And that's why he's held that belt since 1976. End of another good round. Wrestling, of course, not on points, but if it were a points match, that's the man I think is just ahead, the defending champion. But let's see that super rope trick, the Yorkshire rope trick from Kid McCoy. Throws the man across, grabs hold of his head, charges into the ropes, up one, two, three, double back somersault, and out. He finishes off with a neat drop kick, <laughs> round he goes. Hasn't finished yet. Super move. The mid -roll. The mid -roll. It's those kind of moves that make the lightweight such a box office draw and matches up and down the country. The heavyweights not always quite so agile. Head now. Could have followed that through, but decides just to let. That weekly move takes its toll on the champion. Trying now for that reverse power lock. And if he was to lean back now, it could be the end of the championship night for Johnny Saint. Decides against it. Now then, turns that into a bat breaker. Has he just taken... The is he just trying too much, I wonder? Always trying, always finding a new way, a new move. And he's just down now to an arm bar. Kid McCoy had the chance of almost turning that into a surfboard or a power lock. And who's come out of that the best? They didn't exactly clash heads, they more like clash shoulders. Referee Brian George counting both men, only up at nine. Oh, and that will hurt straight on that arm. He weakened that in the earlier move. Now what kind of landing has he had there? A reverse folding press, one, two, out at two. And the suplex over. One, two, not quite, no. Two and three quarters, so close, Johnny Saints. Not quite there, the shoulders weren't quite down. For the count of three. Trying again, another suplex possibly, lift. And he's got it. This time he makes sure. So once again, the world lightweight champion is Blackpool's Johnny Saints. What a match. And it takes two to make a good match. What a good match from Kid McCoy, but still the champion, Johnny Saints. Well done, Johnny. Johnny Saints, Ken Campo, Pussy Ascam, or he.